Here we go. Yo, hey, Twitch, say hi to YouTube. YouTube, say hi to Twitch. It's round three, baby. Maya chest open. This one is called Getting Knocked Out in London. Bruh. So, okay, quick story. I played the GM in this round. I'm already two out of two on uh, two out of two going into the third round. And I get paired with the strong GM who got like third place maybe in the tournament, maybe second, something like that. But he scored very high in the tournament. So this is the game. So here, okay, prep wise, um, Fabiano has a quote about being universal these days and like just playing different things and etc. So this game, I prepped a London system, not a Joe Bob with London, but I prepped a London system. And I saw he had a very bad game that he had in London, which I'm sure he learned from. But so I went D4, D5, and then I went Bishop F4. So I've studied a lot of stuff. And I have a, a very wide repertoire these days, but I just choose to play what I like to play. So at the Bishop F4, he goes E6, E3, Knight F6. And for people that know me, know that I love a Jar Jar Binks London, a.k.a. Joe Bava, which is coming out with Knight C3. It'll be out this month as uh, we're still finishing, you know, the, the part on Chessable for that. So Knight C3 can still be played, but I went Knight F3. Bishop D6. And let me tell you something, Chet. I looked at literally everything except kind of what he played in this game like okay i looked at it but and i knew what i was supposed to do but i still did something different so let me show you what happened bishop d6 i go knight bd2 i mean it's easy play here castles i go knight e5 this is all theory i'm like moving super fast right now like like blitzing up knight e5 instantly move c5 c3 and then he sits here and thinks for like 20 minutes, bro. I'm like, oh, I'm good. Bruh. Oh, it's a wrap. I'm about to hit him split him. Like Bishop D3, you know, G4, H4. Like, I'm feeling great already. Like, okay, he don't even know what's going on. Like, what is this? Knight BD7 is a classic trap when Knight takes F7. Because the Queen and Bishop are disconnected. Knight C6, you know, I'm fine with. I'm fine with Knight D to F3 and stuff like that. Right? So, yeah, this is all theory, AJ. Exactly. But then he goes here, right? He, he goes C four bro and i was like bro what Bruh. He needs some milk. the only thing that i didn't study that much was this line and i do know that this is a move but it's like rare and it's not really supposed to be played to say the least like what i'm supposed to do here believe it or not is what chat what do you think the move is for white i want y'all to like really think about this I know what the move is. And I remember looking at the file and I was like, okay, he probably won't play this move, C4, that is. And, you know, we'll have, you know, ourselves a pretty nice London because, like, I don't want to go down this line. So, what do you think the move is for white here? Sako says H4. Okay, what is the, what is the theory, like the cool theory here? There's a lot of moves you can play. Offer draw from John Ryan here. F1 to C4. Okay, so you you talking about just take. So you you're talking about just take like. You you're talking about just like, like you mean like, like taking the bishop like, like taking it. Okay, got it, got it. Okay. Bruh. Boom, boom. Bishop C4, and then what else do we have, guys? Like, like what else do we have? Joe Far, what up, man? Bishop E2. Okay, G3. All right, got it. Got it. Bishop E2. Joe Far, thanks for the follow. We have E4. E4. Here's the move, chat. What I'm supposed to do is H4. I know this. I knew this. I knew this. I like, I literally, I, bro, I knew. I knew this. But what the problem was, here's what I did. I did not know. Sorry, this is like, uh, I got this new keyboard. No, I forgot there was plastic on here. This is like sweet. This keyboard is so new. I got this ergonomic keyboard from Microsoft. It's fire. So, um, H4 is the move, guys. Yeah, I've done this, right. But also the knight is on C3 too as well. C1. It's also a knight C3. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah, this is tough because like they don't tell you why you're not supposed to play b3 Bruh. but that is exactly what i did he needs some milk
I played B3, and like, the, you know what's funny? The engine first move is actually Bishop E2, H4, and number three is B3, all labeled at point eight. B3. Because I'm like, yo, you have to, like, I really want to get the bishop here and just go for me. That's it. That's it. So I go B3. I go B3. He hits me with B5. I'm like, okay. Cool. Great. What do we do now, chat? What are we supposed to do? What do we do now? Why is H4 good? H4 is just prying open H4, H5, H6. That's literally the only idea. So far. I'm not even kidding you. Like, you just want to put the, the, the pawn here, and then when g6 happens, in some cases, you go knight g4. That's really it. But I didn't want that. I wanted something else. So I wanted more. But if I played this line, I have to play what I have to play, not what I want to play. I teach that to students all the time. So a4, 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 a4. Okay, okay, okay. We got some a4s, right? So a4, you know what? Clap it up for yourself. Wrap it up for yourself. A4 is the move you're supposed to play. Garbage. But then you hit yourself with a garbage immediately because of what happens here after B4. B4 is really strong. This is a really, really strong move that you have, have missed. So now if we take on B4, he hits you with an in-between tween, C3, or Bishop takes B4 first. Doesn't really matter. But this is just annoying. Then I have to move the knight somewhere. Then he takes here on B4. Now you like face with this weird London and this pass pawn on C3. What the heck is this? Engine gives, let me see. It's uh better for black in all lines. The best is Queen C2, giving it almost a one point advantage for black. So not good. Not good. So I was like, well, okay. I'm just gonna put the bishop on E2. Because I saw that. I'm just gonna put the bishop on E2. He goes Queen C7, developing. Then I realized his next move is knight b to d7. And I was like, oh man, I didn't mess this thing up for sure. He also has some stuff with like pawn takes and queen takes c3 check. So I just went bishop g3. I didn't really care about none of this stuff. Like I'll give up the pawn. My idea is to go f4. He goes knight b to d. I go f4. Inaccurate city going to a4 there. b4 anyway. I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, bro. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's either real good or real bad for you, boy. And it wasn't very good. After B takes C4, he takes on C3, hitting my knight, right? So I moved the knight out of the way. At this point, I knew something was wrong for real. Something's wrong, bro. Like, this is not the London that you want. But this is just not what you want from a London system at all. In fact... So I'm just off the head, but I tried, like, he played, you know, I was prepped for everything but the C4 move here. Like, I looked at the line briefly, and I still went another route because I didn't like what they suggested, which is H4, H5, play H6, make a weakness on the dark squares, play Queen F3. Like, I didn't want to play this plan at all. So I went my own route, and it got bad, bro. B takes C4, Knight D to F3, he took on C4. I'm like, bro, what is this? Not only is the bishop coming to b7 now, like, I mean, e4, there's a hole. My bishop was on e2. This is terrible, man. Bruh. This hurts, bro. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Keep playing. So I castle because I don't want to give him a lot of initiative after knight takes c4. There's like a bishop a6. I'm like, oh, it's random stuff. He goes knight b6, defending the pawn. I go queen c1. Queen c1, I think because rook c1, what, what did I like about rook c1? I don't remember. I think he goes like here. One of these knights here, which is ridiculous. Like, look at that. How do you even defend this? Now I gotta go bishop f2? And I can't even go e4 because knight takes f4. Like, this was so bad, right? You have to be accurate with this stuff, especially playing stronger players. dc4 castles. He goes knight b6, I go queen c1, with the idea of if he does go knight f5, d5, then I go e4. That's why I went queen c1, bishop b7, I take on c3, rook a c, and I'm just defending. Like Now he's about to hit this with tempo, so I move out the way with queen e1. Queen e1, knight f to d, right, and this is tough. I go bishop d1, 
This is just terrible, man. Defending the pawn on e3, I want to play e4 next. Bishop b4 hits the queen. Hits the queen. I go queen e2. I step out the way because I want to go queen c2 or b2 next. He does go knight c3. I go queen c2. And I'm like, I'm just moving around. Like, what is this? Bruh. If you know me as a player, bro, this is not me. I'm attacking you usually, and I'm just doing nothing. Just moving pieces around. Defending. Queen to c2. He goes f6. Knight g4. Gross. Bishop e4. Queen b2. I hit the bishop on b4. Queen e7. Right. And I go a3, so I can make sure the bishop goes back. Then I go queen to d2 to pin the knight. Any practical chances at this point. I know, right? You always attack me in those bullet games. I'm an attacker, bro. Like, I'm not about to sit around. Wait. And this was a waiting game, 100%. Knight d5, he brings the other one in. I thought this was a brilliant move. Queen d8 is a nice defense here, defending everything. So I went queen c1, because queen d8 is going to be really annoying. He takes on d1. Rook takes. I mean, he just had the initiative the whole game. I have nothing. He's just constantly putting pressure on me. And this is how you're supposed to do it when you actually do get, um, you know, some initiative or like a better position. But you feel like that. You have to keep the pressure up. And he just never let go. Knight f2. Rook at, I mean, c2. And I'm, I'm just done here. I'm already losing. Knight c3 with knight e2 check as a threat. Very nice. E1. Queen b7. I just take on e4. I play rook e2. He goes queen b3. This is already over. I just went knight e1. Like, whatever. I'm done. Takes, takes. Queen d3. King f1. He found some nice moves here. Rook c4. I have nothing at all, by the way. L literally nothing. Like, nothing. a4. Rook a3. And then he takes that move. And I'm like, well, you already lost anyway. Huh? Takes. Queen. Queen e7. I don't resign for a few moves here just to see. I mean, obviously, you know, you're just trying to figure out how to resign. So I resign this way by playing queen b8. Just in case he touches king or do something stupid. I've been seeing this recently. And like, yeah, you can resign, but like, play it out just a few more moves. Just in case, especially at the lower levels. And then he, uh, he obviously takes the queen and not resign after rook takes b8, but that's it, chat. That was a tough one. I was tough here because of uh, London is a great opening. Got a Kamsky, loves it a lot. The problem here is that this line right here with c4, you have to go h4. Not have to, but h4 is the better move. I remember seeing queen c7 and then h5 anyway. Something like knight c6, h6, g6, and knight g4. This is what I remember from the files. But I didn't want to play this. Like, I didn't expect him to play c4. I'm not even going to lie. I never expected him to play c4. Like, none of his files that I looked at was not saying that he would even play this. And he did in the game, so I was kind of annoyed. Like, bro, is that good move? Good practical decision, I think. Because I never wanted to go down this route. The idea here is obviously after takes, takes. I'm a piece here. And then if he goes the other way with knight takes g4, well, then I can take on d6 first. And then we have this position. If he goes e5, I can go d takes e5. This is like theory. Bishop takes, takes, rook f to d, or rook a to d. Something like this. I go f3, bishop e6. Right, I can go rook d1. I'm like, I don't want to play this Bruh. at all. So, you know, I won't be playing London, at least not London system, much anymore. Like, just because of this line. It's very annoying. Like, it's not aggressive. I'm just bored here. Improving my position every move. So, kind of annoying. I lost this game, but I learned a lot from it. Definitely learned a lot, and that's what matters. So, guys, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube um, and hit the follow button if you're new. Welcome. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Round four is two days from now. See you then.